Renee and welcome back to my channel. Today on Married Life Monday, I want to speak about blended families. Blended families can be an amazing experience if we know how to work it and understand who we are as people, as mothers and fathers. Listen, it can work. Okay, but before I get started talking about it, I want y'all to go ahead and thumbs up the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. You know I don't like talking to myself. You know, crazy people talk to themselves. I like talking to y'all, so subscribe and hit the notification bell so y'all can know when I start talking. Okay? All right, you ain't family till you hit that bell. You know, you know us. You're friend. You're familiar. Okay? When you subscribe, but when you hit that bell, baby... <laughs> you my cousin. <laughs> so hit the bell, okay? Hit the bell right now. All right, anyway, let's talk about these blended families, okay? I'm not going to be before you long. Before I get started, again, I want a disclaimer. I am not a licensed marriage counselor. I am just a wife with a little bit of experience who likes to share my heart and my experience with my friends. I consider you guys my friends. So if you take my advice, good. If you don't, that's good too. Let's drop down in the comments and talk about it. You know I like to converse in the comments. All right? If you are a person who is considering marrying into a family where the person you love and want to marry has children and you don't, this video is for you. Okay? If you are already a part of a blended family and it's just going all crazy, this video is for you. Okay? If you are a family member of another person who has gotten into a blended family and you can't seem to mind your business, this video is for you. Okay? So let's get started. We're going to start with the person who is considering marrying into a family where her spouse or her significant other at this time, um, or his significant other, okay? I want both parties, male and female, to, to understand that this video is for you, okay? But seeing that I'm a woman, I may say her or she more than I say he or him, okay? But don't just take it for everybody, okay? <laughs> anyway, so if you're considering marrying someone who has children and you don't have children, understand some things about yourself, okay? You need to understand first whether you want to have children or you don't want to have children, whether you want to be someone's stepmother or not, okay? No matter how much you love this man or love this woman, you need to make sure that you really want to have stepchildren because you have to love them unconditionally as you would your own children, okay? They have to feel that love from you because if they don't, Honey, you're going to have some problems with the kids and the other parent. And if the, if, 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 if the father or the mother, whoever you're married to, uh, loves their children as much as they say they do, then you're going to have some problems with them too. Okay? So, understand this about yourself. I want to have children. I don't mind having stepchildren. I can love them as if they were my own. Okay? Make sure that that's understood, okay? All right, so the person who's already into a marriage and you have stepchildren and it just don't seem like anybody can get along, let's talk to you. At this point, you have to shut everything down, go back to the beginning and start over, okay? It is never too late to start over, okay? I know a lot of people would say, okay, Sonya, you have no idea how this works because kids can be disrespectful. The other parent, you know, the baby mama drama, the baby daddy drama, that type of thing happens. But let me tell you something about undeniable love. When you understand that you, your husband, your stepchildren, and their mother are family, then you can extend the undeniable love that is inside of you and start this whole thing over and, and basically let everybody know that we are family and we got to do this together. But when you go into a marriage and you are a stepmother or a stepfather and that other person, that other parent don't like you and then y'all doing this back and forth at each other, 
Then it makes the kids angry. You ain't none of they mama. So who you think they gonna be mad at? Whose side you think they gonna take? Number one, that's they mama. They probably spend more time with her than they do with you. So when they see you, they got an attitude with you. Why? Because they mama got an attitude with you. But when you can extend that undeniable love, the mother nor the children can deny you. They can't. And I know people be like, okay, you just don't understand. But I'm going to tell you something. Communication is definitely the key to a successful marriage, to a successful parentship. 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 That means you and the other parent have a relationship. <laughs> I made that up. <laughs> Now, I'm sure it's been used before. But anyway, it makes for a successful relationship all across the board when it comes to family. The children, the mother, the father, the stepmother, the stepfather. Okay? Now, let me go to the other family members who don't know how to mind their own business. Okay? When a person enter, enters into a blended family, you, it's your job to mind your own business. Stay out of it, okay? Because they're already having enough trouble trying to figure out how to make it work with the husband, the wife, the other parent, and all of that, and the kids. They're already trying to make it work. If you're not trying to be an asset to that situation, if you're not trying to help them build an amazing family, then you need to mind your own business. Because, see, other family members can really stir up mess between blended families. And that's not your job. It's not your job to stir the pot, to stir up mess. We are trying to build families in 2019. We do not want to tear them down. We're not going backwards. We're moving forward. And in 2019, we're making families work. We're extending undeniable love, and we're coming together. Guess what? This is a news flash. Stepmama, real mama is your family. Why? Because you married her family. So guess what? Now she your family. Y'all sisters or whatever y'all want to call each other. Sister, sister mamas or <laughs> whatever. Okay? Your family. You family and you got to respect each other as such. Okay? You can't go into the family taking over, telling the kids, okay, I'm your mama now. Because no, they have a mother. You can't replace her. But what you can do is be a blessing to the family and lift them all up. Okay? You and the mama get together, make some decisions together. She gonna need you and you gonna need her. Ain't nothing wrong with a little extra help. Okay? When you and the daddy didn't work out and he married somebody else, look at her as extra help. Come on, let's raise these kids together, honey. It takes a village to raise a child. So why are you mad? Because somebody else that came into the picture. It didn't work out between you and him. Y'all over. So since y'all over and he got somebody else, hey, we got another person to help us out with these children. Because, honey, <sighs> you know, it can get like that. But, y'all, let's build each other. Let's extend love, love, love. Okay? And another thing, when it comes to blended family, I just want to say this because sometimes this could be a really big piece to the puzzle that brings everybody together, right? In a situation where a parent, well, parents don't work out, okay? They divorce or they break up or whatever. Or they was never married, okay? But they have children together, okay? And you walk into a relationship and you marry the parent the other parent, and uh, you guys decide you want to make decisions about everything that happens with this other person's children and leave him or her out. If you leave the other parent out, you're asking for trouble, okay? That's why I said you got to come together as family members. You got to come together as parents. You have to come together as mothers and fathers and stepmothers and stepfathers. You have to come together. 
and do it together. You have to make decisions together. Most of the time, all that other parent wants to be is included. You can't shut me out of my children's life. Excuse me. Or you can't make decisions about my children's life without me because then we're asking for problems. And then when those problems arise, when you make a person mad, you can't tell them how mad to get. Okay, so when she get mad or he get mad and start busting windows and flattening tires and acting acting a fool, it's wrong. They don't need to be acting like that, but you can't tell them how to act when you done made them mad. Because some people's anger is different from others, you know? And when I get angry, I need to sleep because I don't want to hurt nobody. But some people, when they, when they get angry, they want to just go ahead and hurt somebody. They're going to skip that nap. You understand what I'm saying? You don't know how people react. You don't know where people come from. So you just want to choose to be a good person. My, 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 I don't know what to call it. My, my, um, I guess I can say my selected phrase or my selected set of words or whatever for 2019 is undeniable love. I feel like when you love somebody so much, they cannot deny you as a great person, as a wonderful person, as an asset to their lives. You know they can trust you to kind of help them build their own success and, you know, and just be great. It can it it, it can um heal relationships undeniable love it can heal relationships it can build individuals it can make people better um it creates the environment around you it um makes people feel uh motivated and and inspired and comfortable to the point where they can just be who they are I want people who come into my presence this year to feel like they can just go out and slay giants. Yeah. I want to be motivating. I want to be inspiring. I want people to feel like when they leave my presence, when they when they when they finish a conversation with me, when 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 they complete uh, a day out with me, they just going to feel so motivated. They're going to go home and start writing, go home and start researching, you know, just whatever, because they want to be better. That's my thing for 2019, honey. I want my presence to make people better. And I know that's off the subject of blended families, but it's kind of on the subject of blended families because you just want to be that person that just builds everybody and make them better. Okay, those kids, when, when kids are a certain age, like my daughter, when me and my daughter came into my husband's life, because yes, I am part of a blended family. When me and my daughter came into my husband's life, my, my daughter was just a baby. So I guess they kind of made it easier because just watching my daughter and my husband's relationship, how they built this great bond, it has been an amazing experience for me. Okay. But I understand some people go into marriages where the children are older and those little attitudes and all of that, like it can, it can be, whew, it can be rough. Okay. But you got to express that love. You got to express that undeniable love and you have to make everybody feel comfortable and make everybody feel secure because you the one came in. They was okay before you got there. Or they wasn't okay before you got there. It doesn't matter. You came to make it better. <laughs> but anyway, I'm done. I'm, I'm not going to keep talking. All right. I just wanted to share my opinion about how we can um, heal blended families, how we can make them better. Or before you even go into a blended family. You know, I just wanted to shed that light because nobody can make a decision for you. Nobody can tell you whether you want to be in that relationship or you don't want to be in that relationship. Make that decision for yourself and don't feel bad about the decision that you made. Okay, whether it be the right one or the wrong one, you made it. Okay, <laughs> all right, y'all, I am done. 
for today. Today's Married Life Monday. I want to say thank you to all of you who are who have been listening, watching my videos, and you know, commenting, letting me know how you feel. Those of you who have sent me an email and just told me how the video really hit home for you and how much, you know, you, you've been going through in your marriage and, you know, and you never have to worry about me sharing any of that. That's not what I do. I really, 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 in my heart, am passionate about seeing marriages win, making people better, um, helping wives, helping husbands, and, you know, I'm going to get my husband to sit in, 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 in on one of these videos one day. But he's very camera shy. He's not that dude. Okay? He loves to work behind the scenes. And he's, you know, he's been helping me, you know, get these videos right. Because he's that guy. He's a tech guy. He's, he's a, a sound and, you know, video and all that stuff. He engineers a lot. So, he's, he's helping me behind the scenes but i kind of want him to come and get on camera get y'all some of that good advice because honey he treats me well okay i love my husband he treats me very well anyway <laughs> we're not gonna go into that because i can talk about my man all day okay i try not to talk about him too much on camera because i just want to extend and talk about you know different experiences and what different topics on of marriage but honey when it comes to my husband i can go 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 you hear me i can talk 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 because i love me some candy all right anyway thank y'all so much for watching and until next time oh don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell honey and hit the thumbs up on this video if you like it if you didn't like it it's okay the thumbs down i really don't care i just want y'all to engage and sh and, and and just share with me how you feel about my video okay i'm trying to make them better and better for you guys all right and i got some good things to come y'all so listen i got some good some great ideas okay but i'm trying to build my audience first so y'all make sure don't just watch the videos because i got way more views than i have subscribers <laughs> So I want everybody who's watching the videos, come on. It's okay to subscribe and hit the notification bell. You already know you want to be here because you're watching the videos. Okay? So, anyway. Until next time, guys. Bye. Monday.